Welcome back to Joe Stunner Boxing. Uh, thanks for tuning in. My name's Joe Stunner. Um, this is a new boxing channel. I started it a couple of days ago. I already have 32 subscribers and they said it would be a failure. I mean, come on, you know, oh ye of little faith. 32 subscribers in less than 48 hours. That's, that's a good start, isn't it? But if you're new and you could hit the subscribe button, I'd appreciate it. Thanks for tuning in to this video. Watch some of my other videos. Hit the like button. Any support you can give me is appreciated. I want to build this channel up and you know, get a bit of an audience. Not for any, you know, ego reasons, but just because I like I love boxing. I love talking about boxing. Anyway, today's video. I thought I would pick um I thought I would pick an obvious subject, an obvious question, uh, but not one that's obviously answered. And that is, what is the best fight that you have ever seen? Difficult question, isn't it? Because if, like me, you've seen literally thousands of fights on TV, video, live. I mean, I, can't, I couldn't even estimate how many fights I've seen. Everything from four-rounders to legendary classic, you know, 50, the old 15-round fights. I'll, I'll go back that far. Some of those were fantastic, incredible. And I thought, well... I'll divide this question into two categories. What's the best fight I've seen on TV or video or whatever? And what's the best fight I've actually sat ringside for and seen live? Now, as far as watching TV and watching, you know, fights on YouTube and so on, I mean, there are literally hundreds of classics, as we know. But the one I'm going to go for and there, there are personal reasons for why I'm choosing this. It's not, it is about the fight, but it's not entirely about just the fight, you see. I'll explain more in a minute. The one I'm going to go for is, it was in February 1995, and it took place between Nigel Benn and Gerald McClellan. Um, and it is, I, I nearly had a heart attack watching that fight on TV. It was on ITV, I think about 20 million people, or near as damn it, tuned in. Can you imagine a fight of that magnitude being on terrestrial television nowadays? Well, it was back then. And it was an incredible, almost beyond description war. Most of you have probably seen it, but if you haven't, go go to YouTube and watch it. You won't believe what you're seeing. Um, a little bit of a back backstory. McClellan had been knocking everybody out in terrifying manner very often in the first round. He had been a, an established champion at middleweight. He'd moved up to super middleweight. I remember actually putting money. I, I, I do gamble, but I don't gamble much because I don't always win and I, I'm tight and I don't like to lose money. But I had I actually put money on McClellan to knock Ben out in one round. And I'm a huge Nigel Ben fan. I followed his career from virtually the start, certainly to the finish. Um... Mm. And I, but I did think that McClellan would do him in a round. And if you've seen the fight, you'll know that Ben got knocked through the ropes, was on the ring apron, got back into the ring. It was not a long count, because I don't know whether this rule still exists, but you, in those days, we're going back 26 years, aren't we? You were entitled to 20 seconds to get back into the ring if you were knocked out of it, not 10. So Ben gets back in. The referee wasn't great by any means. Ben weathers the storm in the first round. God knows how. And in the second round, he wins the second round. Unbelievable. It was, I mean, I was screaming my head off. Now, Ben got floored again, if memory serves, was it the eighth round? But somehow he, he survived this absolute hor horrendous shellacking and stopped McClellan. McClellan took a knee in the 10th and essentially quit. And there is that. I'm tempted to say infamous bit of commentary by Jim Watt, but I'm not slagging off Jim Watt because he didn't know the state that McClellan was in. None of us did. Where, McCle where he says, McClellan's quit. He's quit. He's quit, Reg. Reg Gartridge was the other, you know, the other commentator. And then, as we know, McClellan had suffered very serious damage, uh, was taken to a hospital where he was, I think he was moved within 48 hours by his, at his family's insistence. They took, wanted to take him back to 
to America. A lot of people believe, a lot of the medical experts believe that because he was moved, it contributed, you know, terribly to his current condition, which is that he is essentially blind and deaf and in a wheelchair, totally incapacitated. And for the last 26 years, he's been looked after by his sister, Lisa, who is his full time carer. Um, that very tragic ending overshadows the greatness of the fight and what we saw in that fight because you could not get a one contest that shows or that proves exactly what fighters give us you talk about it. a lot of fighters say i will fight to the death you know you'd have to kill me these two guys seem to mean it and one of them very nearly did get knocked into the next world so I think that overshadows just how great this fight was in terms of pure thrill. Um, I can't think of a fight that surpasses it. And there have been some great, great fights, but I watched it live on, like I say, on ITV. My head nearly exploded. I didn't know. What, I, I couldn't get my breath watching. It. it was so incredible. God knows what it was like ringside. I wish I'd got a ticket. I almost did buy a ticket, but I'm a, like I said, I'm a tight bugger and I don't, I don't like forking out lots of money for, for ringside seats, which I always consider to be overpriced. Um, but I think it's an important fight because, again, the ending, the, the fact that it was so thrilling and it was so absorbing, and yet it had that tragic ending, it makes you question your love of boxing. It makes you question yourself, um, unless you're completely unempathetic, in which case, you know, what can I say? Um, psychopaths are to a penny in this day and age aren't they sociopaths and psychopaths essentially the same thing but i do have a conscience and so it made me it stuck in my mind it's still stuck it still sticks in my mind today and i've watched that fight many 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 times uh, also just as a little aside i remember that fight because two days previously i'd gone to a, a gig a, a music gig in uh it was in essex yeah, it was in Essex. It was in Romford, I think. And I met a girl there, and I got a number. And I spoke to her, and she said she was actually from Doncaster, but she was staying in London. And she said, "Do you want to meet up on the Saturday night?" And I knew the fight was on, so I was like, "Well, there's a fight on. I really want to watch the fight. I'll definitely want to see you." But she said, "Well, come round to to where I'm staying to my." To this place you were staying at a mate's house and we'll watch it together win-win isn't it you know double whammy so i watched it at this girl's house and a friend and her friend's boyfriend was there and i think i kind of embarrassed myself because i was like ah, what's going on you know i was hitting the bloody roof and <laughs> it was crazy and she's looking at me thinking i invited this guy around my house you know <laughs> but yeah that sticks in the mind so yeah the best fight i've ever seen on TV or video or YouTube, or whatever, Nigel Benn versus Gerald McClellan. If you haven't seen it, I'm sure most of you have seen it, but if you haven't seen it, go and watch it. You won't believe what you see. As far as actually going to a gig, going to a boxing match and watching a live contest is concerned, I'm going to choose something that's really obscure. Not because I'm trying to be terribly clever, but because it is just the most astonishing fight I've ever sat ringside for. It, it was at the York Hall. I've been to the York Hall Gone. I can't even count the amount of times I've been to the York Hall. We've been going there for decades, literally decades. If you've never been there, why not? You're missing out. Go go to the York Hall. We're in a bad seat in the house. The atmosphere is always incredible. You meet loads of great people. They're real bo knowledgeable boxing people. Um, it's not like, you know, you're surrounded by a lot of moronic... I don't want to insult football fans, but you, know, you don't get that there. It's, there's the really nice people there, and, and and the fights are great, even though they're usually lower level, domestic level fights. The fights are great, and the best fight I ever sat ringside for was at the York Hall, and it was a, a Southern Area uh, super middleweight title fight between the former footballer Leon McKenzie, who had I think just lost an English title fight. And was coming back, and uh, someone someone that you may know, a, a British fighter called Cello Render. Now, I I sort of know Cello a little bit because I know his brother. I work with his brother Mario, 
terrific guy. Um, cello's really, really great guy. I don't know cello as well as I do Mario, but cello's a really lovely fella. Um, and a bunch of us got into a coach, went down to the York Hall. You know, it was a real sort of party atmosphere. There's a few beers flying around. I'm not really a drinker, but I'll have a beer when, you know, when in Rome and all that. Um, and I, we were actually, I wasn't ringside. I was up in the gods for that fight. But if you're at the York Hall and you're up in the gods, you can see everything that's going on. You can see the ring. It's a fantastic venue. It's like you're, there. It's like you're in the ring, really. Um, <clears throat> so this contest started, and as with a lot of Cello's fights, because he was he was an all-action fighter. He's retired now, but he was kill or be killed. If, if he wasn't knocking you out, you were knocking him out. Didn't have a brilliant chin, to be honest, but I think a lot of that was his defence rather than his chin. Um, and it was just an astounding war. It was like, it, made, it put a Rocky movie to shame. Um, one minute, one guy was on the verge of getting stopped. The next minute, the other guy was on the verge of getting stopped. Someone was trapped on the ropes and didn't look like there's any way out. They were getting pummeled. Then they'd come back. And Render ended up winning the fight. He knocked out Mackenzie. I mean, knocked him flat. Oh, I thought, what was it? I can't even remember the, the round, and I should know this, but I think it was the 10th round. It was late in the fight anyway. But from the opening bell, it was pandemonium at the York Hall because there was a big crew of us supporting Cello and Leon McKenzie. You now, McKenzie family are well-known in boxing, big fighting family, and they produced champions and so on. No, no bad blood between us. We were all, we're all cool, but, um, but it was... I guess I suppose thinking back, it was kind of like Ben versus McClellan, but on a much much smaller scale. And I was there; I was watching it. It was we were we were going mental. I mean, anyway, that would be my my pick: um, Southern Area's super super middleweight title fight, Leon McKenzie versus Cello Render. Render wins it. That would be my live pick. What do you think? What what are the best fights you've seen? And it can be an obvious choice. Um, it can be an obscure choice. What are the best fights you've seen on you know, video, on YouTube, TV, whatever? And what's, what, are the, what are the best that you've seen live? Tell me. And give a reason why you like that particular fight, what it means to you. you may, there may be some sort of you know, funny, like, like, like me with that bird that I, I chatted up and went around her house. There might be some funny thing connected to it that, that uh, makes you remember that fight as a special one or it may just be the atmosphere or it may be you met maybe you met someone at the, the, the venue or whatever but let me know in the comments um thanks for tuning in as always uh joe stunner boxing subscribe we've got fowler versus smith tonight so uh, let's have a look at that who, who do you think is going to win that maybe i'll do a video for that later on um but th yeah thanks very much any support you can give is always appreciated and uh you have a nice weekend take care